Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 5th through February 11th. Now I want you to take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Because, you know, this isn't for every single person. We're going to get a couple of energy cards from these oracle decks, and then we will break into the tarot reading. Um, this is for the sign of Capricorn for love. You deserve love, Capricorn. You are lovable, and you deserve it. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Interesting. They're both about love. It appears that love is in your life or it's coming into your life. You deserve love. And when you realize that, that's when you have this ultimate success. There is no greater goal than love. Beautiful. Success and love this week? Oh boy. Listening to your intuition, loving yourself unconditionally. There could be an offer of love. You could be dealing with somebody who is very romantic. Somebody that is very kind, open, tranquil, and calm. All right. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, man or woman. Or somebody that acts like this person, very, very loving, kind, um, gentle. Many of you are leaving something behind, walking away. There's some kind of disappointment here. But it feels like you are finally starting to see the light. You're starting to see the truth coming out of a place of insecurity after a period of um, feeling closed off, perhaps. Perhaps you, you were denying something, and now you are starting to see the light because this is seeing the light after some sort of denial, and this is a disappointment as well. So maybe you are... Maybe you've been... Uh, pushing the truth down, not accepting the truth, something about love. Maybe you thought you didn't deserve love. Maybe you didn't realize that love was the ultimate goal. This right here is telling me that, you know, this denial can only last for so long. It's time for you to build a new ha new her uh, foundation elsewhere. This card says that I believe that somebody is in your life that is having a very big effect on you and you are really contemplating on your next steps you're really focusing you're you're thinking about things you may be feeling shy at this time like trying to muster up your strength perhaps in some arena um, here we have a new beginning all right this is a transformation many of you are going through a a huge phase in your life where you're stepping into a whole new path. It's like you're releasing something. Maybe it's insecurities. I feel like that's when you're definitely, many of you are dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There could be a new offer of love. Maybe you've been trying to deny it. You've been trying to deny it. And now you can't deny it anymore. And you want to offer love. This is the Four of Cups reversed. Somebody is probably offering you love, Capricorn, and you're thinking about accepting it because you're actually watching it spill out. You're looking at it at this time. And this is a yes answer. So if you have a question, you've been thinking about something when you started watching this reading, this is a yes. This also tells me that you you are this is successful whatever this is i see success here many of you are going through a huge transformation after some disappointment where there will it's almost like guaranteed success it's like 
this is wonderful. It's like you've manifested some sort of love here. There's definitely love because these are both love. And it's probably a soulmate because we now have the king and queen of cups. When we have any um, king and queen of any suit, there's usually a soulmate for the person watching it. So I think that many of you are dealing with a soulmate. There could have been a third party situation somewhere. But I feel like you, you know, now is a time of togetherness, probably coming back together. Maybe this is even somebody from a past life, okay? Could be any sign. Could be any sign. But I really feel like now it's a, is a time for love. It's like now there is a time for love. I'm ready to be together with somebody. This is a huge transformational period for you guys. I see that there's a huge new beginning here, perhaps with a Scorpio. Okay, that is the basis of the reading. And we, we have Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio here. Okay. Um, could be any sign. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Gemini. That's what we got. Anyhow, um, let's see. Let's get some clarifiers here. It's saying act now, move, get moving, have no fear, have no fear, please. Do the right thing. Speak up for yourself. Take the lead. There's, there's, there's some kind of karma here, okay? There's some kind of karma here, and you are being called to step into the unknown, acknowledge the unknown, um, I feel like there is a place where fear lies, but you are being called to step into that fear, okay? There's some kind of unknown forces. I think there's a soulmate here, and it could be somebody from a past life that is probably entering your life, and you're going through a transformational period that is, is asking you, don't have no fear. That's one of the lessons. Don't have no fear. Go with it. Go with it. And you're starting to realize it because this is starting to realize that this is actually what you've been waiting for. It's like a big, huge relief. You may be dealing with uh, somebody who is very, um, or this is you feeling very comfortable with themselves, comfortable with it, with their money. I think that there is a feeling of independence here, and that's where the fear lies. Where as you will have to probably give some up, give up some of your independence. Um, but I feel you guys are, are doing very, very well, abundantly, in all areas of your life. And it shows. And because of that, the only, the only thing I see here is fear is holding you back. Fear of being hurt. Fear of, is this just an illusion? Is this really true? Is this love really true? You know, is this, are these feelings really true? There is definitely karma, okay? We have karma, karma, and underneath with that death, we have a lot of karma here, okay? There's a lot of karma here. So I feel like now it's time for you to do the right thing, Capricorn. It's time for you to um, be honest with yourself, okay? It's time for you, this is also decision-making time. What is it that you want? Do you want to be independent? Because it's time to make a decision here. There's a lack of hope. You still have that lack of hope and you need to bring that back. You need to bring that peace of mind back to you that you know you have inside of you. This is where this deserved love comes in is that you feel like you're not worthy. You feel like you're not, like, like my dreams are never gonna come true anyway, so why even bother? You know, so I might as well just be happy, independent, and that's what you are thriving independently. But this is actually a relief. I think many of you are being offered some kind of love, some kind of emotional support. And the fears, because these are both fears, big time. Huge fears, huge, huge fears of losing your independence, of, of, uh... Giving your time to somebody, you know? And you know that you have to make a decision. Do I, do I really want this or not you know what I mean and that's what it is I feel like it's that you're having an opportunity to become something with somebody else but your the fears are huge 
huge and it's karma it's a karmic lesson here but you the, right here somebody is denying the truth of something and it's time for you to be objective about the situation i see that you're reluctant you're reluctant because you know you have to make a decision these are both decisions it's like do i want this or not and you're being called to be objective seriously be objective because this could lead to marriage whoever this person that you are with could lead to marriage this is the marriage card okay or that you're thinking about as I'm giving you this reading I think you're dealing with a karmic soulmate okay that you are meant to probably be with and it could certainly lead to marriage but I think these fears of being tied down is the problem so I think you're being called to give this person a chance but the decision is yours it's decision making time do you want somebody or not success I know that there is no greater goal than love that's why this card came out do you want love or not this is the independent person who is very lives very well independently has a good home has money in the bank takes care of themselves all good happy about it too but then all of a sudden love comes in and you're like oh shit You deserve love. You are lovable. There's a chance for a lot of success with marriage here. And there really is no greater goal than love. Don't you think? There's a chance for a lot of growth. There's a chance for a lot of passion. This is a gift from God offering you excitement passion growth expansion fertility all of the above you're being offered a huge dose of passion and love are you ready or are you too scared to accept it interesting I am a Capricorn moon I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart very interesting I wish you the best Capricorn I deserve love don't you 